Life is a fight. If it's not a fight, it's a surrender. If it's a surrender, it is death. I have to go on. There's still a long way to go. The night is coming, the stream is strong, and the opponent pours loudly towards me. Vatican City, June 24th, 1917. The war is raging all over the world, and there's no peace in Rome as well. I've seen protesters making a fool of the church. It's unbelievable. How can the opponents of faith be so active, organized, and enthusiastic? And how sad it is to see that we Christians are so indifferent and divided. On the other hand, why would I even go against the stream? What's in it for me anyway? Shouldn't I just stop for a moment? Should I just stand by and watch? Is crying and complaining all we can do? No. Every one of us bears an obligation to resist this. The stream leads so many souls to destruction. We must do something. October 16th, 1917. Together with six brothers, we founded the Militia of the Immaculata. The goal of the movement will be simple, to gain all the world and all the souls for Christ through the Immaculate. This movement will enthuse people for sanctity in everyday life, to become a tool in the hands of the Immaculate, knights of her army. October 20th, 1922, Grodno, Poland. The Minister General permitted me to establish a print magazine of the militia. Despite my illness, I work late into the night. The doctor said, I don't have many years left, but this is all I can do. We can't stop. I give all this to you, Mary. October 6, 1927, Neo Pocolano. It has been eight years since I came back to Poland. Today is a great day. With the brothers, we blessed a statue of the Immaculate. On this foundation, we are going to build a city from where our press will spread all over the world. February 17, 1941. We've been dispatching more than a million printed magazines of the militia each month. A radio station has been broadcasting for three years as well. There are more than 700 brothers living in our community, and the militia of the Immaculata has more than a half a million members. But it's clear, the Nazis are coming. Sooner or later, they will come and destroy all of this. Brothers are concerned, but I'm telling them not to worry. The Immaculata gave us everything, and she will take everything. She knows well what is happening with us. We are just a tool in her hands. being washed away, I will fall into death. No, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to ease off. But where should I stand? Where is my support, my strength? The chosen ones go to death. Jesus, the high priest, your life wasn't taken away from you. You laid it down of your own accord. You're telling us, do this in remembrance of me.
O oh Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Life is a fight. If it's not a fight, it's a surrender. If it's a surrender, it is death. But in this fight, the only victory is a surrender. A surrender to you, Jesus. And the only true life is death. I live when I am dying to myself every day, and I am not sad. When I die to sin, to lust, to sloth, and give myself to you. When I don't wait for the world to change, but I start with myself. When my fight isn't mine anymore, and I am not alone, but I am with you. The militia of the Immaculata still lives today. You trust Mary as well. And through her intercession, fight the good fight.